Hello, my name is Alfred D'Souza. I'm the CEO of Alton Robotech USA Inc. And today I'd like to share with you the silent business killer the food industry is neglecting. But first, let's lay the foundation with a quote from Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, who built the fast food franchise from a single store to over 6,000 outlets. Quote, it all comes back to basics. Serve customers the best tasting food at a good value in a clean, comfortable restaurant and they'll keep coming back." End quote. Now, restaurants are often competitive when it comes to food and pricing, but missing the mark, or even negligent when it comes to cleanliness and comfort, particularly of their washrooms and to their own detriment. In this presentation, we are going to take a closer look at how big this problem is, how customers are reacting to it, and what long-term solutions are available to you so your business doesn't have to suffer the consequences of a dirty washroom. In 2015, Bradley Corporation, an industry leader in commercial washrooms, surveyed over a thousand American adults from across the country on their habits and concerns surrounding public washrooms. It was found that 63% of respondents had had a particularly unpleasant experience in a public restroom due to the poor conditions of the facilities 82% of those complaining of a really bad smell, and 73% describing the overall appearance as dirty, unkempt, or old. And recent trends show that the situation is only worsening. So why are public restrooms in such poor condition? Apparently, 80% of food industry professionals surveyed by cleaning leaders ISSA and Clorox said that cleaning restrooms was really difficult, primarily due to too much foot traffic, too little time, and lack of effective cleaning products. Now let's take a look at how customers are reacting to dirty public washrooms. According to market analytics firm Zogby International, four out of five customers surveyed said that they would avoid a restaurant altogether if the bathroom was dirty. A whopping 89% of customers said that negative online reviews about the restrooms would deter them from visiting a restaurant. Perhaps this is because 86% of Americans equate the cleanliness of a restaurant's bathroom with that of its kitchen. Furthermore, customers are very vocal about bad experiences they have had and post poor online reviews on Google, Yelp and other platforms. Restaurant hospitality editors had this to say on the 2016 Bradley survey and I quote, most Americans say that a messy restroom signifies poor management and shows the business doesn't care about its appearance or its customers. And it's not something that businesses in the food industry, no matter how large, can afford to neglect. And on the flip side, it pays to have well-maintained washrooms as 52% of Americans surveyed said that they would definitely or at least probably spend more money at businesses with well-maintained restrooms. So what solutions are there? According to the 2016 Bradley survey, a key improvement customers would like to see is more frequent cleaning of public restrooms. As we see it, there are three main ways this could be accomplished. Let's examine the pros and cons of each and how you could implement it in your business. First, you could redouble your cleaning efforts by having your staff clean the room multiple times a day and even track it but this only increases the workload of your already busy staff without increasing the time in which to do it. Plus, there's no guarantee of a better finish and it still would not be able to cope with the high foot traffic. Remember, the next customer is always going to have to deal with the state of the washroom left by the previous customer. The second option would be to increase cleaning staff either by hiring more people or outsourcing the job to a cleaning service company. This could improve washroom conditions, but it is uneconomical. And last but not the least, you could automate cleaning. This is the solution we recommend for the long term because it takes the human factor out of the equation. A robot, unlike a human, does not feel tired, disgusted, depressed or lazy. And it does not miss spots. At this point, I would like to emphasize that automating cleaning does not replace workers, rather it improves their working conditions by taking on tasks they prefer not to do, like cleaning the toilet for instance, thus freeing them up to better focus on your customers. Automation is also very cost effective in the long run. With automation, 
cleaning tasks can be performed a with minimal effort or discussed for your staff b as often as you like and c with a consistent finish every time to your customers pleasant surprise a triple win for our solution we chose to automate toilet bowl cleaning since it is the most disgusting of the cleaning tasks in the washroom it is likely the task which employees would prefer not to do and due to its ongoing use the toilet likely needs to be cleaned most frequently and let's face it nothing ruins the customer's appetite faster than a visibly dirty toilet meet gidel the world's first portable toilet cleaning robot let's watch gidel in action meet gidel your handy portable toilet cleaning robot from altan robotech gidel cleans the hard to reach places in your toilet bowl including the rim using a pawing motion to scrape the entire surface the inner rim around the entire bowl fully under the rim to remove the most difficult spots the entire bowl using circular and wavy patterns to effectively clean all the way down to the exit drain gidel so why is gidel ideal for your business a single gidel can clean all your toilets whether round or elongated it's easy to use to You simply plug Gidel into its mounting bracket, turn it on, press play and walk away. Gidel beeps when it's done. You then unplug it and place it in its charging station which can be discreetly stored away in a janitorial closet. It's also lightweight and durable and sports an antimicrobial body doped with zinc oxide nanoparticles to remain hygienic. An optional accessory is the germ-killing Gidel UV light which sticks to the toilet lid. and turns on every 4 hours when the toilet lid is closed and no human activity detected so you may be wondering how effective gidel actually is at cleaning a dirty toilet let's watch as gidel effortlessly dislodges dried on dirt in house a charcoal stearate mixture was applied to the entire toilet bowl and allowed to completely dry gidel turned the black toilet spotlessly white furthermore Gidel doesn't easily get dirty as it is suspended over the toilet for the duration of the cleaning cycle and unlike any other automatic brush on the market Gidel's replaceable nylon brush doesn't spin so there's no splashing Speaking of efficacy Gidel is time effective with approximately a 5 minute cleaning cycle and a 1 hour max charging cycle with a long battery life Gidel is also cost effective at just 350 US dollars gidel is less than a weekly wage of a typical full-time employee in summary restaurant staff struggle to maintain cleanliness of public washrooms the majority of americans have had a bad experience with public washrooms which takes a toll on business reputation and revenue our proposal is to automate cleaning especially of toilets which have high traffic and pose a high risk to your business if found dirty gidel saves work time and money while improving customer and employee satisfaction with a three step one time installation plug and play operation and low maintenance gidel is an easy and effective long term solution to poor restroom conditions which silently kill business in the food industry Thank you for your time. I hope this presentation was helpful to you and I wish you continued success in your business. To learn more about how you can get Gidel to work for your business, please send an email to support@altanrobotech.com. Thank you.